Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 66 Moro, Consumer of Worlds As the battle continue, Vegeta and the others are watching. Piccolo says, The battlefield seems to have gotten further away. Gohan mentions, Something about the planet feels off. What's going on? My, my body hurts all of a sudden. Vegeta realizes as he goes like, Is Moro absorbing our energy? All of you, get off the ground! Damn it, Kakarot! You have managed to screw up again! And now Moro is stealing all the energy of all the humans around the world as they are going like, Ugh, Whoa, I'm feeling really weak! Moro laughs as he goes like, oh, 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 The Earth's energy is mine! All oh, mine! Goku yells at Moro and demands him to quit, but instead, Moro attacks Goku with multiple giant hands that are coming off the ground itself. Goku managed to block all the attacks, and as he continues to block, Moro continues to bring hands out of the planet until finally he gets to eat Goku. Goku backs off as he goes like, what the? Moro looks at Goku and continues by saying, As I said, my body is now the planet himself. You have nowhere left to run. Goku goes like, as he realizes the dodging is not gonna do anything. He is fighting the planet itself. Outside the battlefield, we notice how unlike Krillin, Jacko gets to notice of all this as well, as he can see everything with his special eyes. Beerus says, This is bad. Simply dodging those attacks may avoid the detonation, but Moro's energy continues to swell unabated. Is there any way to keep him from exploding? Krillin asks. Whis answers, Ooh, one method, yes. The question is, can Goku manage it? Ugh, looks like I have no choice. It's a special case, so I'll lend a hand. Losing Earth will be troublesome, you know. Woo! Uh, you mean it? And now we notice how Beerus gets off the bubble that we created to protect him as he looks down and says, I'm in big trouble if the other gods of destruction see me do this, so let's make it quick. But suddenly, Whis' staff starts to ring. Whis goes like, oh. Beerus notice and goes like, mm, what now? Whis says, terrible news, Lord Beerus. You have received a call from the Grand Priest. Beerus is shocked as he goes like, what the heck? Whis continue by saying, I dare say it involves the matter of Mirus. Beerus goes into panic as he says, Ugh, They already found out he proved! This is no time to be hanging around here! Let's hurry back, Whis! Oh, very well! Krillin is like, What? Jacko is like, Bruh! What? You thought I gave a crap what happened to your precious planet? Solve your own damn problems! Oh, but! As Beerus continues to argue with Krillin and Jacko, Whis takes the time to go to Goku and tells him how to defeat Moro. The only way to defeat Moro is to once again shatter his forehead crystal, thereby releasing Miru's power. Shatter the crystal? Just like Miru's did? Indeed, done properly. That will destroy Moro and leave the Earth intact. Goku asks Whis if he thinks that he can pull it off. Whis answers, you have already acquired divine power. Woo -hoo -hoo. Have faith in your own strength. As Goku realizes and looks back to Moro, as now Moro is looking crazy as he is getting bigger and bigger. Okay, if that's the only way. Whis answers, it is. We must return to the angel realm now. Beerus says, Hey, listen up, Goku. Even if the planet dies, you better save me some earth food. You hear me? 
Goku replies with a smile, but he doesn't seem confident at all. Then Beerus and Whis leave the planet as Krillin goes like they're gone. Jacko is like, what the heck? And now Goku is getting ready to counterattack Moro. As Goku is looking for a way to counterattack, he notices and he says he just keep getting bigger and bigger. If I don't act soon, it will be too late. Then Goku finally noticed that the crystal is becoming hidden as Moro keeps growing and growing. Dang it! I can barely see the crystal anymore! But suddenly, stand aside, Kakarot! As Vegeta makes his final entrance to the battlefield. Vegeta wastes no time and he begins to punch the surface of the earth. Quickly we notice how the ground is releasing the energy that Moro has stolen earlier and Moro has a reaction to it as he goes like Rawr! And even though the becoming one with the earth was working so well for Moro when he was fighting against Goku it is the total opposite with Vegeta, since we know that in order for the spirit fission technique to work, Vegeta must inflict pain, and now Moro by being one with the earth has become the biggest target for Vegeta and he can do nothing about it. As Moro becomes smaller again, we notice the crystal on the forehead that starts to show it again. Goku comments, nice going Vegeta! His body's deflating! Enough japping! Destroy that blasted crystal! I can only rip away spirit energy from him for so long! Goku gets on it as he goes like, you got it! He clinches his fist and he says, everything is riding on this fist of mine! Goku takes off and as he begins to get closer, Moro uses the planet to counter attack Goku, but Goku dodges all the attacks, but as the closer that he gets, Moro uses the earth more and more to create these giant hands, but Goku does not care as he goes like, take this and go right through Moro's hand. But that does not stop Moro as he creates more hands to stop Goku. And Goku goes right through all of them to the point that he gets right on Moro's face. But by the time he gets there, Goku is already exhausted as he got no more energy to continue. Oh, come on! Enough nonsense! Vegeta says as he gets aggravated, he continues by telling Goku I am at my limit, so do it already, he's driving me faster than I can strip him of his spirit. Goku gets desperate as he cannot do what Mirus once did, I guess I still don't have enough god power. Krillin cannot believe that Goku cannot reach the crystal as Jacko goes like, god? Power? Huh? as he remembered something important, so he tells Krillin that he gotta go take a trip. Jacko takes off, Krillin is like, where's he off to? Back to the battlefield, Moro is literally squeezing the energy out of Goku, to the point that Goku transforms back to his regular state. Vegeta goes like, no, don't power down Kakarot! Sorry. My power is getting sucked away. Vegeta responds very sarcastically by saying, of all time. Then Vegeta noticed that everyone has arrived to the battlefield. Everyone except for Android 17 and Android 18. I'm wondering if something happened to Android 17 family since Moro was absorbing everybody's energy in the planet. Back to the story, Piccolo asks, your spirit fishing, can you do it in reverse? Vegeta goes like, what? Piccolo responds, I'm asking if you can gather key and give it to Goku. Vegeta replies, yes, it's possible, it's the same principle. Piccolo says, great, you need to give our key to him then. Vegeta says, fine, hand it over. Piccolo replies, hopefully it's gift worth giving. Krillin shows at the end and says, take mine too. 
Piccolo tells Dende to collect all the energy from the people in the sanctuary and send it right back to him. Dende replies, right, I can do that. Everyone, lend me your power. Goten and Trunks also hear Piccolo's voice and now they also raise their hand to send their energy. Vegeta notice the energy coming in and he goes like, oh, from the sanctuary and from Trunks and Goten. Good, I'll add my own to the mix. Take this, Kakarot! And Vegeta sends the energy towards Goku. Goku receives the energy successfully and he starts to power up. He starts to push through, but when he gets closer, he runs out of energy. Piccolo says, that's just his blue form. Why won't he use his Ultra Instinct? Vegeta explains that it's not that Goku doesn't want to transform in Ultra Instinct, it's that he can't, not even if he collects all the ki from everybody. Goku is aggravated and so is Dende cause his divine power was not of much help. Bulma noticed that ordinary ki is not enough. Suddenly, Jacko's spaceship comes out of nowhere. He rushes into the sanctuary and says, Where is Majin Buu? We need his power! Bulma replies that he's sleeping in there. Back to the battlefield, Moro has gotten even bigger than before and now he is blinded by power as he goes like, <laughs> While he is quizzing Goku. Goku goes like, ah, sorry guys, this is all my fault. Piccolo says, it's over then. Vegeta remains silent, but suddenly Jamsha says, couldn't we leave the planet now and use the Dragon Balls to fix everything? If the ones on Earth are lost to us, there's still the gigantic ones on space, right? Krillin says that that won't work, cause when Moto blows up, the whole galaxy goes with him. So even the Dragon Balls in space will be dust. Vegeta says, There's no time left, not even for that. Just look, that monster has already gone insane. He'll explode on his own soon, no matter what we do. Krillin says, We at least gotta get Goku back. We can't let him die like that! Gohan replies, I'll come with you, Krillin. Then Shinhan says, Us too, better than sitting back here and waiting for death. Jamsha says, I guess so. Great, after everything, I'm gonna die a bachelor. Suddenly, Shaosu goes like, Cause he is impressed, cause he can notice that there is a huge energy ball right above them. Vegeta goes like, what the? As Piccolo looks in shock as well. Vegeta doesn't know where this energy is coming from. Goku noticed that it's God power, cause he can feel the divine strength. Vegeta is like, but how? This is a ridiculous amount. Who said this? Somewhere else on planet Earth, in a very remote village, we can notice the Grand Kaioshin helping little Oob raise his hand into the sky, as he knows that little Oob possesses enough divine power to counter-attack Lord Moro. Back at the sanctuary, then the ghost insane as he goes like, it's Oob! Oob had the power all along! Of course, the great lord of lords divine power must have gone to the evil half of Majin Buu during the split. Yep, it sure did. Back to the village, we notice how Oob is taking his very first lesson from the Grand Kaioshin himself. Oob asks, Is this right? I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> the Grand Kaioshin replies, Yes, that's perfect, thank you, and sorry for the sudden trouble. <laughs> Back to the battlefield, Vegeta collects all the energy and says, Whoever's kid this is, take it and use it for another round of Ultra Instinct. 
Vegeta throws the energy ball towards Goku, who's still trapped on Moto's hand. The energy reaches Goku and creates a huge flash that blinds everyone. Moto tries to hold on, but this time Goku is super strong thanks to the energy given by Oob. And now Goku gets to control his ki and creates a gigantic image of himself out of pure energy. Goku rises as the god that he is. The others are shocked including Vegeta, Piccolo and Gohan. Then we notice how Goku begins to gain control of the situation. He pushes Moto down as he is trying to get closer to the crystal himself. And as he does, he aims to the crystal, cause breaking it is the only way to defeat Moro. Moro looks at Goku one last time, as he knows that he can't do anything at the moment, thanks to Goku that has neutralized his power by holding him down. Then Goku powers up and breaks out of his big self. Everyone is observing as this is the last chance to be able to beat Moro. Goku finally makes contact with the stone as the impact can be felt throughout the whole galaxy. Whis can feel that Goku has been successful and in fact Goku has because now the crystal is shattered. Then we notice how Moro crumbled down into pieces. Shortly after that, we notice how all the angelical power from Midus has been released into space. Then Krillin comes out of the gravel as he asking what happened? Did he really do it? Did Goku win? Then Piccolo answers by pointing his finger as we notice that Vegeta is looking at the same direction. Then we see a figure standing alone on top of the hill as we notice that it is Goku as he looks back and Krillin is GOKU! And Gohan says DAD! And only then we see Goku smiles as he gives the thumbs up cause he has beaten Moro and the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 66 has come to an end. And I can't wait for December the 20th when the Dragon Ball Super Manga Chapter 67 releases. And I must say that I got a thousand questions now because all the power that was necessary to beat Moro was on Earth the whole time. We did not know it and the only one that seemed to know it was the Grand Kaioshin. And it all makes sense now, because at the end of Dragon Ball Z, Goku told Bulma and Vegeta that Oob was as strong as them, and Bulma was like, how can he be stronger than you too? Well, that question has been answered, and the answer is because Oob possesses the powers of the gods. And I cannot wait to see more of Oob. I mean, if this was the animated version, I guarantee you that the whole world would have gone crazy with the appearance of Oob. But let me know what you think. Did you love this arc? Did you hate it? Let me know and tell me why did you love it and why did you hate it? Also, what do you think is gonna happen for the next chapter slash next arc? We gotta see how this arc is gonna end on the next chapter and how the other one is going to start. Also, let me know what do you think about Beerus' comments when he says that he must hurry up and finish it quickly before the other God of Destructions finds out. Do you think that's the real reason why Beerus never gets involved in battle? So please don't forget to force your theory down below the comment section and most important don't forget to like comment, hate and subscribe so you don't miss your latest Dragon Ball Super theories.